You talking about Winona's big brown beaver? What? Winona's big brown beaver. No. I'm talking about screaming cowboy. Welcome back to Winona's big brown beaver. That's a Primus song. You never heard that song? Mm, I remember the name, but I don't remember who did it. That's a good song. It's a great song. Primus is okay. Everybody thinks that the music video is creepy. I don't think it's creepy. It's just... I can understand why people think it's creepy, but I don't think it's creepy. It's them dressed up as a bunch of plastic cowboys. Oh yeah! Okay, that's what I remember. No, it's just like the uh, Uncanny Valley kind of thing. I think they're... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, they look, I mean, they look weird. For yeah. Sure, but... Doesn't really, doesn't really creep me out. Know. Yeah, that song's not bad. That's a cool song. I like that song. Primus is an interesting band. You know who I've been listening to a little bit lately? BT Bam? No. Um, there's a band called Mr. Bungle. Mr. Bungle's Magic Ride? They're putting out their first album in 20 years or something. Um, and they're, they, I mean, they, they had a pretty short-lived career. They only put out three albums. The last one came out in, like, 2000. Okay. And they're like probably one of the most creative bands I've ever heard in my life. And it's up to you whether you not, whether or not you think that the, the music is good. Because um, it's very experimental, very avant-garde type shit. Okay. And I and that's kind of why I like it. I think like I'm not like I'm still like it's it's very hard music to digest. But like, you know, it's the kind of music where like. It'll be doing this kind of ska funk thing one second, and then it's heavy metal in the next second, and then like it goes into this like jazz thing, and then you know it's that kind of shit where it's like a bunch of like genre bending type type of shit, you know. Their second album, uh, Disco Volante, is like complete like experimental music. Like it's all really fucking weird, <laughs> but that's what makes it great, in my opinion. It's really. You'd have to, it's hard to describe without like actually having heard it or anything. But they yeah. they just put out a new album called um, the the Raging Wrath of the Easter Bunny demo, and it's music that they had written in high school, and they just now are like getting like a proper like you know professional recording of it. Yeah, and they've got uh, Scott Ian, who is the guitar player from Anthrax, and Dave Lombardo, who is the drummer of Slayer. Like they're both on the album. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's like a thrash metal album. It's not really anything super fancy, but like it's cool. Like it's whatever. You know, it's a fun thrash metal thing. So this has been like the year for like you know old bands like releasing new music. So like Mr. Bungle put out their first uh, first album in 20 years. Uh, Tool put out their album last year, the first one in 13 years. And then just like a few weeks ago, System of a Down released two new songs. Did you see oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, the fuck is happening? People, people are bored when quarantine, so they're just like now. Raging as the machine's gonna like get back together, and make a new album. With Michael Moore producing it. <laughs> Scapegoat Wax is gonna do one. That'd be something. I'd be into that. Yeah, I'd be. Into I'd that. be. I'd be totally into that. Queen's gonna come back together after reviving Freddie. <laughs> they're gonna make a new song. <laughs> The Beatles are going to reunite somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Ringo uh, is going to give back uh, Paul, George, and uh, John Lennon's uh, life forces. Yeah, right. And then... Uh, what if it came to light that, we'll um, that Betty White has actually just been stealing all the life forces of all the <laughs> dead celebrities? He's going to clap... Clap that this ass. This is pretty cool. Oh, look at that frame rate. <laughs> yeah, the frame rate's a little rough. <laughs> it just makes it. <laughs> I mean, really, that's what would that's what would happen because we're in space. <laughs> I was gonna say that earlier because you like you we saw the one dude riding and then his like wind like his like scarf was flapping around and yeah, it's like, like that wouldn't happen. No. I mean, yeah. Maybe to like a, a small extent, but not like flapping around. No, not like air. No. Did you uh, did you happen to listen to the new um, System of a Down songs? No, nope. I don't really like System of a Down. They're, they're whatever. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, like they, their, they their sound, more popular stuff, and that's about they it. They sound almost exactly like the songs from like 2006. They sound like very similar. Okay, well, um, I'm sure people will like them then. Yeah, I mean, you listen to the first one because they only released the two songs. Um, you listen to the first song, and it's like, yep, this sounds exactly like System of a Down, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing, you know. Yeah. But it's just like, eh, whatever. Like I wasn't really that. Um, impressed by them i mean in fairness like the last time i I was really listening to them was when i was like 13 or 14 yeah so it's like pretty much since their last albums have come out i haven't really listened to them so ah sacra devanam indra deus yeah i love that album it's great it's magnificent is that her yeah it doesn't even look like her it looks exactly like her why is she all she's got peach colored She's got the, the, the omen, open open tummy. The colossi. The Ooh. navel. By emerging with the Karma Fortress, it has become the most powerful being in existence. How do you know? Because it will purify Goma Vritra with the use of the priestess. Power and even the seven trillion souls we have accumulated. That's a lot. That is a lot. That's that's more than I like how they kept count. Yeah. <laughs> That's more than we have on on uh, Earth. But would that not also destroy the planet as well? Yeah, it yeah. would. Perhaps it's just a boom hund. Zip. Oh, oh, my fucking eye is so dry. Oh, fuck. Spin it. Yeah, let me... <laughs> let me go. <laughs> Catch it. <laughs> So, you like can't call it that. These. You can't call it that anymore. You could call it like three deities, maybe. If you, you gotta, s- you gotta rename the the biker club after everybody's dead in it. I mean, they could call it maybe the four if they get Asura to like stop being such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Asura! Oh, I am fucking sick of your fucking <laughs> attitude. <laughs> You are my Nakama, and nothing's going to fucking change that, you fucking bitch! He's like, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, I was quoting my favorite YouTube video. I was just so angry. I I, I totally get it now. I just like it when he's like, Ore, I'm fucking sick Ore. Like, you just gotta get the Japanese in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Inuyasha. I haven't seen that show in a long time. I remember watching that show all the time on, like, Adult Swim or whatever it was on. Yeah. It was pretty, it was pretty good. Back in the day. Now, how many episodes out there? Like, 7 trillion? As many Ch- souls as they took? Channel 25. What's, what's on Channel 25? Comedy Central. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. I, used to watch the, I used to watch Comedy Central all the time. Back when TV was a thing. <laughs> and then it becomes Adult Swim at the end. At the night. Oh, is that how it went? Yeah. I always remember that being on Cartoon Network, though. Uh, they did it there, too. I was say, like, that's where Adult Swim first was on. Yeah. Was, was Cartoon Network. And yeah, if you were on Comedy Central... You got basically one of two things at night. Adult Swim or stand-up comedians. I was going to say um, Girls Gone Wild commercials. Oh, yeah. Constant Girls Gone Wild <laughs> That's what I was going to say. It's like or go you would, you would get like You would get like literally like the infomercial style advertising, but with Girls Gone Wild. So it would be like just that for like hours. Do you have a penis? Is it hard yet? Do you want it to be? Here's some half-naked girls. Remember when we could go to partying and women would screech at you and show them your your tits? Remember feeling safe? Specifically your tits? Not theirs. Remember feeling safe? (laughs) Girls Gone Wild 2020 edition. It's just people at a protest uh, fighting and then their tits fall out. Everybody is safe because we're all wearing masks. So you don't know who's... T- <laughs> like, you don't have to be afraid of your of, of shaming your family. Yeah, you can wear a mask to Girls Gone Wild this year. 2020 edition. Didn't, that guy, didn't the creator of that go to prison? Probably. I'm pretty sure he did. 
It, seem, it seems like a bad idea. Like, well, cause there's, some, there's some exploitation. Well, they probably, on. they probably like was facing a lot of lawsuits, is what I'm assuming. Because I, I can't imagine that somebody like that would, you know, look over your lockdown and then you'll shoot the thingy. I can't imagine that like he was having all of those girls sign forms and shit. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> and they weren't they weren't getting paid or anything either. They were just getting their tits out. Yeah. And then they were just like, thanks for the content. We're yeah. going to go jack off. Or do you want to join us? <laughs> you, know what's, you know what's funny now is, like, in hindsight, like, Girls Gone Wild is, like, so tame compared to, like, anything else that you can get on the internet now. Yeah, that's why you don't really see Girls Gone Wild stuff anymore either. No. All it's I, just, like, I think I, think I can they, just go online and look. I think they face lawsuits and shit anyway. Yeah. But, it's, I mean, you know, it's like... But, that, yeah, the whole thing of Girls Gone Wild is just... Random girls showing their tits, showing their tits slash making out with each other. Yeah, and, like and it's like it. that's like second base guys. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much at this point. Like when I got Brazilian fart porn, like already typed in. Yeah, like, like bookmarked. Uh, why? Why would I do that when I'm gonna see some girl fart on a cake? Yeah, right. And then you know, tell me about how she loves them the most. Your cake fiards. <laughs> Where the hell are we? Heaven. Is this Mount Olympus? Heaven. I like how we're just like, I, I feel like we've both become numb to what's happening in the game for a period here because it's just like, we've seen so many ridiculous things. Yeah, this is, if anything, this is kind of tame. Yeah. Sure, you're going through like some Star Fox, Star Fox-esque. Uh, I like that. I wish there were more levels like this, yeah. actually. Star Fox-esque uh, tunnels. Oh, there it is. Like on the way, right yeah, there. it's Uncle Andros. But are you are you at the real Uncle Andros, or are you at the robot Uncle Andros? No, this Andros? is like the this is like the fake one. Yeah, this is the fake one where you're not gonna meet your father. Mm -hmm. You're beginning to be more like your father. I hate my father. Fuck you, Peppy. <laughs> he left me alone. Well, I mean, he never threw the baseball with me. <laughs> he threw it one time, and then he left on his spaceship. And then he left to go get cigarettes, and he never came back. And then he fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> and then you finally go and defeat Real Andros, and it's like, Hey, kid. Daddy? They should make another one of those. I know they made the Zero one or whatever, but... Yeah, but, like, make a good one. Make a like, good one. Like the 64 version. <laughs> yeah. That game, that game still holds up in my opinion. Yeah, like it's still really if good. If they just remade it, they I think they did for like the DS or something. But like an actual console. Yeah, right. Not a handheld because handhelds suck. Yeah. I will always hate handhelds. Oh, there's my daughter. Handhelds. Why uh, is she bound up in chains? I liked I liked handhelds like when I was a kid, but like obviously like I'm you know I'm not into them anymore. Yeah. And, and by handhelds, I really mostly mean like the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, like those, because some of those games were fucking like still my favorites. Like the, I always go on about it, but the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga is like one of my favorite games ever. It's still really good. See, I just don't like handheld things. No, I don't blame you. The, I, I, the only know. time I played handheld, and like, liked it consistently. Was I was playing Elite Beat Agents. <laughs> Elite Beat Agents? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I, I like rhythm games. Rhythm games are fun. So. I wish I had Rock Band again. Like, I want to I get Rock Band again, but I don't want to spend the money to get all the shit. Well, Dennis has it. Just go over to his house. <laughs> I just want to hey. be able to play some fucking Between the Bear and Me songs on a plastic drum set. Because they got like Clone Hero too, where it's like you can get any song you want. Like you don't even have to buy like all the rock band shit. Like you can get any song you want. Oh, yeah. So, assuming somebody's made a chart of it. Which, for the most part, most songs have. Yeah. Like that'd be fun. Be good practice. I'm so. Fucking angry. I remember, yeah, did I, I think I bought that, the original shit from Jimmy or somebody. Probably. But I, obviously I didn't play it after a while, so I'm like, eh, I'm gonna get rid of it again. 
I mean, my desire to play that stuff has not been strong enough for me to actually go get it again. So yeah. fucking why? <laughs> the thing, <laughs> the thing with it is like sometimes I get into it and I want to play it again, and then yeah. you know it's only for like a a couple of days or me even just eight days play. Yeah. And then I'm back to not caring. That's probably exactly what I would do. But so what? But if I had the chance to like just be able to go online and pull up any charts and anything to anything, that would be the best way to do it. Actually that drum pad I have I could probably do it. Yeah. Probably good. I'd have I to mean, get it's got pedal. four plays. I'd have to get the, the foot pedal up. Yeah, once you get the foot pedal, you got it. Yeah. So then you'll have, you know, your your green, you'll have your red, you'll have your yellow, and instead of blue, that one will be the, the solo from Thunderstruck every time. No, I want the chorus TNT every time I hit it. Cause I'm TNT. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, one pad is the oi. <laughs> oh so, no, we're swapping characters mid battle, dude. So now you gotta play all these songs with a, a soundboard drum set that it will pick up all your things, but every time you hit one, it'll play a bit of TNT. So. There's the it's a uh, soundboard. One of them is just the oys. Yeah. <laughs> and one will just be like, dur, 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 dur. yeah. And then the other two will be the fucking the guitar solo and. I've seen uh, somebody do that. There's this Italian drummer called Vadrum. Vadrum. Yeah, he's really good. Like he 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 was popular like you know in the nineties, like probably like ten years ago back when like he was doing covers. Like he he plays drums like exclusively. I think. Okay. And he would do like he did like you know. Uh, Super Mario Brothers meets drumming, you know, and then he would drum to the Super Mario Brothers song, or yeah, or he like he had a, a classical drumming album, so he would take classical pieces, like famous then, classical pieces, and then drum to them. Okay. Um, and like you know, he did a song, or he did a version of Billie Jean by uh, Billie Jean Michael Jordan. Is and, not um, my bro. Yeah, but he did it where he would trigger like all the instruments and stuff. It was pretty cool. Okay. Very talented drummer. Very, very, very talented. He's also Italian as shit. And then I'm pretty sure his actual name is Andrea Vadrucci. I'm gonna so hit you in the dick with this flail. Oh, he's oh. got some nunchaku, bro. Oh, sorry, yeah, nunchaku. All I think of is Maxi. Oh. Maxi tampon? Or black, uh, black guy who uh, fucking does the flip and fails. Maxi tampon. Actually, uh, I, I bought the last Soul Calibur game. It's not not bad, but I think maybe the time has passed. I don't really care anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know, because they, they, they introduced another single-player mode, but it wasn't like the one from Soul Calibur 3, so I didn't care as much. That's, that's so many games that they've gone through without doing that again, and it pisses me off. Yeah. Because that was, like, my favorite part of Soul Calibur 3. That's what made the game was, like, the single-player and, like, how much content there was. And, like, you had this... I mean, it was dumb, kind of, like, but they could have made it better. Like, the whole yeah. real-time strategy thing, like, it was really good. There was definitely a way to make it a little better. Yeah. And they were pretty close already. Yeah, they had, like, the, the foundation there. <laughs> and then they never did it again. It's like, fuck you guys. I don't know. There's a re maybe there's a reason why nobody gives a shit about Soul Calibur anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Man, she must be into bondage. Just like a penguin in bondage, boy. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Taylor? If Melissa's like, we're gonna do bondage today, where well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie you up and... Oh my god, he's stomping my head. You're gonna give me a, a concussion. Please. And stomp your head. Like, are you gonna allow it? Um, I'd be open to trying it. I just, I, I don't think I'd be into her stomping at my head. Okay, but. well, I mean, it, I meant your penis head, but... Oh, I don't think I'd be into that either. <laughs> Alright, well, what do, what is your safe word? Whiskey! Whiskey! Do you have to say it with a... Yes. So you can't just be like, whiskey. 
Yeah, whiskey. Pass, pass me the whiskey. 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 Yeah, it's got to be whiskey. Pass the whiskey. Seven point two trillion. We're only at seven. That's a lot of extra. I mean, seven, salt. seven trillion is quite a few. You couldn't do it in seven trillion. If you can't do it in seven trillion, I don't think it's ever going to be enough, man. Yeah. He hit me in the face. I can't see with this stupid light thing on my face. <laughs> That's why he's hitting me. Why must I cry? Why must I cry? Why? <laughs> it's that guy. <laughs> Ouch. Oh my. We're doing classic anime spinny. Imagine being hit so hard that you made someone do like a seven back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I would fucking be like, I am a god. <laughs> oh no, he's got his headrest. He's gonna, he's gonna do a two, one thousand, one hundred hands, but a suffer. That is what I intend to do. Are you, are you, we shall fight. Are you here to kill a god? That is kind of my intention. It is the way the game is played. <laughs> yeah. Probably should cut this episode. Actually, you're getting long. Oh, okay. Next time on Chinstar Caps, he's gonna punch me in the face. <laughs> I'm gonna get punched.